Hello and welcome. This is a video on the Enphase Enlighten monitoring portal um, and hopefully giving you a, a bit of an understanding or an idea of what, a, what each number means and what it represents and, and how to use this information to get the most from your system. So um, we will jump straight in, um, but first I will mention that the numbers we're looking at aren't relevant and aren't to be compared to what you are doing. To give you an idea, the day that we are looking at this information here, it is the middle of July 2022 and it is absolutely pouring with rain and it's 10.45 in the morning. So if you're looking at your system or if this you're looking at this video at the time, uh, middle of summer, you know, your system is going to be doing a hell of a lot more. Uh, and if it's very similar weather, you might find that it's, uh, it's doing these sort of numbers as well. But not to look at the numbers and focus on the amounts, but to actually look at what the number uh, represents and that data and how we can use it to get the most from the system. So this is the opening page when you log in. Uh, this is the status tab on the bottom left you will see is highlighted. So this is just giving you a nice little overview of what has been happening today. So, so far, really bad weather. The house has um, consumed 7.6 kilowatts in the middle there. That is the total consumption of the property, 7.6 kilowatt hours, sorry, of the property. And on the right there, it makes it nice and clear for you. 6% is energy independent. So the solar has been able to feed um, 0.5 kilowatt hours to this. So not ideal the situation with it being the weather. And as you can see in the top right hand corner, it does have the uh, the rain symbol there to back up what I am saying. But um, but yes, yeah, certainly, um, you know, hopefully the sun comes out and this number can sway slightly. What I'll do is I'll move us across on the tabs along the bottom to the energy tab. Um, this one here I certainly find more useful um, with, uh, with being able to show you the system and, and better grid in, uh, independence. So I'll move back a day. So at the top there you'll see it says day, week, month, year, lifetime and then you can also set up your custom. But just in a tab underneath that you'll see it says July 14th, 2022. If we go back a day it was a bit clearer yesterday so it is a nice representation of, of um, performance across the day. So. As you can see here, um, the uh, property consumed 22.3 kilowatt hours in the day. Um, the system, uh, and they imported 12.2 kilowatt hours. So the system supplied 10, um, which, is, uh, which is obviously a much better ratio than what we were looking at before. Down the bottom here, we've got actually a graph that shows a representation of the consumption across the day. So you can see at night time, they were consuming a bit more power. So the, um, the, num the bar graph going down the bottom, um, you'll see is consumed. And that color there is um, from uh, the gray at the top there, sorry, is imported from the grid. Now, if we go here, the blue represents the production of the system. So what we do want to see is we do want to see that consumption line stay within the grade area down the bottom. So some of that grade area is exporting now because it's going downwards. So it's going back to the grid, whereas if it's above the line, it's being imported. So if we see gray below, then that's better than seeing it above. At night, you obviously will see it above because the solar at that point is turning off. So we can see here as well, 45% grid independence yesterday, which is which is pretty good. But ideally, if we can get that up to that 60, 60 to 70%, that's that's really fantastic. Now we can hit week up the top there, and then that gives us a little snapshot of what each day in the week has done. As you can see, hit some bad weather today, whereas the rest of the week's actually been quite nice. So 39% uh, grid independence, and we'll just wait for it to update. Oh, sorry, 39% across the week, yeah. If we go to month, we can see then it gives you each day and you can highlight across and the numbers will change according to that day. And across the month we have 42%. So this person's not doing too bad with what they're trying to achieve with their system. We can do year, lifetime, and like I said in the far right corner, you do have custom. Uh, one of the main benefits of Enphase is the microverter technology and being able to see each panel. So. Here we go, having a, a little look at uh, 2022. So this is actually looking at the lifetime of the system. So this one must have been installed this year. If I go to day, um, that's what we can see. So July 13th, um, this is actually yesterday. Uh, today isn't as great, but if we go back to yesterday, you can see each 
Microinverter is pretty much within five to ten percent, bar one down the bottom there. So I imagine there's probably some shading, uh, maybe a flue or a cowling, cowling on that um, on that part of the roof that shades that one panel, but not affecting the other panels, and they're able to reach the maximum output here. Now. With this information in the energy, what we want to do is we want to use as much during the day. So if we actually highlight here that we're exporting power and we're importing quite a lot in the afternoon, what we've got to try and focus on is how we can move that energy in this time here and even this little bit here into this excess part of the day. If we can do that, then what we can do is achieve a higher energy independence. Not as easy as what it sounds, but you know, at this time here, that a uh, long line there, that might have been a dryer, a dishwasher, or a washing machine going on. So if we can set stuff like that to timers and have that come on during this part of the day, we just further increase our savings and our energy independence as well. That's pretty much all there is to the Enphase app. Uh, if you do have any questions or if you do want to uh, query anything that you've heard or it doesn't make sense, please get in contact with our service line. But hopefully this is all clear enough for you now to get the most out of this system and, uh, and benefit from the savings. Thank you.